You have no idea how happy I am that Rumble's back. Oh. Dodge to get your health back? Oh no, go for a melee from across the map. Got it. I'm also glad that in things to come, Rumble is going to be a permanent game mode. That's a very simple thing right here. I tried to kill him immediately with the Sleeper Simulant. You're probably wondering which weapon I'm using. Using the... Is this a Judgment Hand Cannon? Is that what it is? I think so. Mob Justice and Sleeper Simulant. Gotta get my health back a little bit. Some moat. Get ready for a throwing knife. Maybe a jump throwing knife. Keep my crouch. You get all your health. He did. That's so lame. Let's wait it out. If I get sandwiched, it's my own fault. I was hoping the other two would fight and that by me crouching, he would see the other person first. But that's okay. I'm not going to go for that power ammo there, it's too late. I hear two shots, three shots now fired of that stupid play of the game. I'm on bottom tree golden gun this time. All of my weapons have moving targets. And I'm using lucky pants to take even more, it, he actually challenged, to take even more advantage of the opening shot on my hand cannon in addition to the moving target. Uh, accuracy bonuses. Yes, even on mouse and keyboard, they still apply. Although it's not as directly noticed as using a controller, it's still there. I need to hit headshots if I want to reload my hand cannon for free. Oh, actually, I have Marksman's Dodge, don't I? Yes, I do. Crouch. Jump ability, last possible second. And finesse. And we still trade, because that's the thing. I wish melee range was like universally reduced and synthesis wouldn't be a thing. I like more gunfights in my PvP. I think that's a common theme on this channel, but I'll keep saying it. Oh, that was so close. Finally, Sleeper Simulant time. Would have been sick to get a double right there. That's two. Perfect. Now I can pop Golden Gun, continue the farm. Actually, let's wait for the leader to have his super. I didn't realize that this bonus extended to second place. Let's reload this hand cannon with the dodge. Actually, let these two fight. That's even better. See ya, dude. And now the third. Or not. Alright, we know this guy has a play of the game. Let's give him no reason to shoot us first and instead shoot somebody else. Gotta win this fight for power ammo. Got pre-charge. See ya, dude. Same thing here. Gonna pre-charge around the trench. There's gonna be two people fighting, then I'll 180 and do the same thing. Let's not do any damage, because I want them both to live long enough. If I shot him, the other guy might win a little too easily instead of both of them being weak. Uh, good grenade, I guess. Oh, definitely a good grenade. He's going to get me killed by someone else. Got to chill for just a sec. That's the hammer. So now just keep ring around the rosies on this hammer. He will never catch me. Alright, if he 180's a hammer, I die. That's a perfectly fair trade. 
Don't do it. Three minutes. Illegal holster. I'm not challenging anymore. He has the advantage. I made a little bit of noise so he knows I'm running. Now I fight now that the other two are fighting. And I pick up an easy kill. Let's find him again. Oh, I was not even considering I could get shot from Nest. That's why sometimes you need to pay attention to your radar before committing fully to an engagement. Because I may have been able to see him. Let's crash this heel. Hill. That dodge in the cover prevented a proximity grenade that otherwise would have killed me. Ready to toss. Okay, since power ammo's there, he's staying near power and not near me. It's a logical thing to do. Now, if I can lob a grenade on the opposite wall of this. Was going to say it might detonate. Doing just like 10 damage is even enough. I was shooting over his head because he crouched. Good for him. Didn't expect somebody to hold the crouch. You're used to people actually... Here, I'm going to do it to this next person. But you're used to people teabag crouching like it does something. In a small crouch every now and then is very effective, but the repetitive crouching, I don't think it does anything. I just think you happen to be playing somebody who already had a bad shot. Let's see. I want to get in a fight with somebody where I'm fully crouched. This is the perfect guy. Got to hit him with the throwing knife, too. Oh, maybe not. He's just ignoring me. Don't give him a double. <laughs> he was crouch walking too, so you can tell that guy does it to a lot of people and it just works. Yeah, it was called the Judgment Hand Cannon. Why did I think it wasn't called the Judgment? Anyhow, I'm doing this a little backwards, introducing the weapons after the commentary is said and done instead of before. That's because it started abruptly, was not expecting Rumble to actually queue up that, mu uh, that fast. But here it is. Judgment Hand Cannon. Moving target. Opening shot. Hit mark. Mob justice. Moving targets. Pulse monitor. Since it's rumble, you're kind of playing for a trade a lot of the time, so pulse monitor helps. Ambitious assassin is good if you stay alive, but in rumble it's almost better to just trade deaths and continue on. Sleeper simulant. I'm not going to say it's worth the power weapon slot in PvP, but it's fun. Maybe I get a ricochet kill when I otherwise uh, don't. Here's a scenario I actually just thought of. Well, those are all 380. It's where you charge up the sleeper simulant and someone sees that you're charging up a fusion rifle so they immediately back up into cover. But if there's a wall behind them, all you have to do is aim at the wall and move a little bit to the left or right to set up that angle to ricochet around them even though otherwise you would have had to recharge the fusion or waste your bullet. Sounds like a pretty smart thing to do. I'll try it the next time I use the sleeper simulant if I remember. And if I don't end that video, you can roast me in the comments section. Sorry for the abrupt switch to post commentary, but after watching this video, I almost didn't upload it. And the reason for this is because it seemed like very average gameplay. I'll be honest with you and say that this was my warm up game, you know, my warm up to commentary. I didn't even talk like an intro with the weapons. But after watching it a second time, I realized that because I'm using an average loadout, average time to kill on my weapons, uh, underutilized exotic and subclass. My shot was hot garbage. I missed like the majority of hand cannon headshots that I was going for. Even my reactions were a little slow, even though the commentary was closer to that, closer to spot on. But not where I usually have my standard for excellence. But despite all that, I still ended up winning the match, which says something. Rumble is very winnable by just good positioning and good decisions. This being said, the big takeaway I want my viewers to get from this video is the fact that you shouldn't feel pigeonholed into running the most meta setup at all times. Think of using an average loadout as a training tool to sharpen your decision making. Because if you still succeed with an average loadout, once you switch to a meta loadout, you'll be that much more effective. While the opposite perspective is definitely valid, which is using a meta weapon at all times ensures that the only excuse you have was bad decision making, I actually think that using an average loadout gives you more room to assess your decision-making ability.